What is up YouTube? Tyler aka 130T here. Today is What Sold Wednesday, so here's what sold on eBay this past week, February 14th to the 20th, 2018. Let's see. First we have this Duck Dynasty Quack Pack t-shirt. Uh, it was from Kohl's. I actually got it at a thrift shop though, but it was in excellent shape. I uh, had it 10% off. Got $13.45 for it with free shipping. And this I paid a dollar on, so we're looking at about an eight, nine dollars profit. Next, another dollar buy is this Ralph Lauren men's gray long sleeve polo. I had this on 10%. Last week I had 10% on everything in store during the middle of the week just to draw some sales. $17.95 with free shipping. So all in all, we're looking at about $14 profit. Then, if you follow me, you've seen this before. It is the uh, Budweiser World Famous Clydesdales Vintage 70s or 80s uh, Sateen Jacket. It was a 2X. I got 50 bucks for it with free shipping. I did manage to put it into a poly mailer, a padded flat rate, and so that saved me on the shipping. All in all, I'm going to make about four, what was it, $40, or a little under $40, between $35 and $40 on that thing. This is something that I bought at a garage sale a long time ago for 50 cents. Uh, I heard Wilton. I didn't know anything about Wilton, so I jumped on and I bought Wilton wherever I could find it, which I found that not all Wilton is worth a ton. So this I at least made a couple bucks on. Uh, it's gone. I'm happy. I did have a Wilton Batman pan that I sold for like $40 that I bought for a buck a while back. So do some research on your Wilton. There is some good stuff out there. Next, I have the Saddle King Western heavyweight cotton flannel shirt with the pearl snaps. It was an extra large. This was also a dollar. And I made them pay shipping on this because I got it in a pad to flat rate for $6.95, which I do flat rate in all my shipping. Anything over a pound, I, I, I've been charging shipping. I used to not, but it's it seems like it's still stuff still sells and I'm still making money. Anyways, $21.21 for this with the shipping. So all in all, I ended up making... Oh, basically 20 bucks on this thing. Well, after fees, actually probably like 17, 18 bucks. These I actually got in a lot I bought off Macari. I think their average price on those is like 275. So after fees and shipping, basically all I'm going to make on these are about eight bucks, seven, eight bucks, but it's still profit. And I still made at least three to four times my money on them. This I got at the bins. It was a brand new with tags, pins and needles, little lacy skirt that from Urban Outfitters. Um, 2015, 26 plus free shipping on this. It cost me like 75 cents at the bins. So 12, 13, probably 12 bucks profit out of that item. Next, these Article of Society Women's Sarah Skinny Jeans, size 17 with a Brentwood wash. Made them pay shipping on these, so after I think they cost me $4, after fees and everything, we're looking at $13, 12 to $13 in profit. Next, we have these Not Your Daughter's Jeans Straight Leg Size 14s. They are dark wash. They paid the shipping. These cost me, I think these were also $4. So after fees and shipping, or after the fees, we're looking at probably about a $10, $10 to $12 profit item. This I paid $4 for, this Ralph Lauren men's shirt. It was blue and yellow, kind of Michigan-y colors, which actually I put that in my item details. Perfect for the Michigan fan. Um, which, funny enough, it's going to Michigan. $16.96 on this one. Uh, I paid, yeah, what did they say, three, three four dollars so after fees and shipping, I made about, oh, nine ten. This Ralph Lauren men's Blake uh, Gigum blue and purple check shirt. It does have some major wear on the collar, which is I, I put it on an auction and made them pay four ten shipping because I just wanted to get my money out of it, which in the end I did. I still made like three bucks on it. So if you ever find an item and it has a flaw in it, if it's not too major and people still might wear it, Put it at an auction really cheap and make them pay shipping. And you could still get, at least get your money back if you don't want to donate it or throw it away. So 
Not a big profit item, but I made my money back, plus a little extra. These, some people haven't noticed before if they've seen my What Sold posts or videos. These Jenko jeans, the person who wanted them did not pay for them the first time. They want, they went for 60 bucks that time. This time they went for 59.46, so basically the same money and maybe a little less. I picked these puppies up. I think they were five bucks if I do recall. So after fees and shipping, I'm still going to clear about 50, 48 to 50 dollars in profit on these things. They were great. If you ever see Jinko jeans from like the 90s and stuff, these are kind of the plainer ones. So a lot of them have a little bit more elaborate patches on the back. Pick them up. Then we have this Ann Taylor women's pencil skirt size 12 with kick pleats on the back. Perfect for the career woman. Uh, I paid a dollar for this. It was twelve seventy one to ship for plus free shipping. After fees, we're looking at about eight bucks, eight to nine dollars in profit. Then we have these Harley Davidson women's boot cut jeans. They had flat pockets and some jewels and stuff on the back. They were basically they they looked brand new without tags to me, so that's what I listed them at. Uh, they were fifteen percent off this weekend. I also ran a sale this weekend of fifteen percent off a lot of things. 1805 plus they paid the shipping so all in all i think these if i remember i paid four for them so after feeding and shipping i made about no oh, 11 12 bucks these i bought at the end of the year end of the summer sale last summer so they were a quarter so with the free shipping and selling for 846 i maybe made three four bucks off these but they're gone and I won't pick them up again unless I get them ridiculously cheap. And three and four bucks is three and four bucks. This I got for a buck at Goodwill. It's a Columbia PFG Women's Omni Shade Flex Fit Hat. Twelve seventy one on that thing. Uh, free shipping. So after fees and shipping, we're looking at about eight nine bucks profit. These I also put on an auction because after I got them home, I noticed the button at the waist had been replaced with just a regular button. I put them at $4.95, someone bid on them, and they're paying the shipping. After fees and shipping, I actually ended up making like five cents. So again, lesson learned. If once, Make sure you look things over well, and if, even if you miss something, throw it up on auction, make them pay shipping, and you can still make your money back at least. Then we have this Tommy Bahama men's pullover polo shirt it's kind of a cream color with a floral print it was an extra large this i paid three dollars for i sold it for 15 with free shipping so after shipping and fees we're looking at probably 78 dollars in profit these are the kobe nines that everybody saw after i inspected them a little more i noticed there was a little more uh, a few more issues with them um, if these would have been Pre-owned in great shape. You're looking at closer to two hundred dollars, one seventy-five to two hundred dollars. I put these up at one fifty, and I took a best offer at one thirty-five because there are. It does look like one of the swooshes on the left shoe on the orange had peeled off before, and someone glued it back on with a hot glue gun, and that the little teal logos on the tongues were starting to peel, and just there was a few other little minor things, but. 135 bucks, still a great wearable shoe if the person wants to wear it. Um, so yeah, I st and I bought them for 750. So I mean, we're still going to clear 120, 20, 120 to 120. Actually, after shipping, 120, 15 to 20 dollars in profit on these puppies. So always great. Always look for Kobe's. Always look for interesting colored Nikes in general. It seems like if it's a crazy color, people love them. Next, um, I bought this for, I think it was on sale, $350. It is a cabbie brand, women's draped Owens jacket. It's a size extra large. It was, uh, tw I sold it for $25.15, and I made them pay shipping. Um, if you, cabbie always sells excellent for me. If I pick a band in cabbie, I don't think I've had it for more than two, three weeks at the longest, maybe a month. But I can always sell cabbie items extremely fast so if you see cabby pick it up um if it's in good shape that is obviously so yeah after 350 uh minus the fees i'm still made i made about 20 19 20 bucks on that and that was it um this week i had 20 sales i made 535 dollars and 18 cents in uh gross uh sales 
Um, so it was an excellent week. One of my higher weeks. I think there was one week that was better, but this is one of the best weeks I've had as far as dollar wise, money wise or sale wise. It was still strong. Anytime I hit 20, I'm happy. 20 sales in a week. 11 came over the weekend. So yeah, pretty pumped. Things have been going great. I've been trying to keep, make sure I stay above 400. I've been averaging in like between four to $500 now for the last month and a half. And just kind of keep trying to push it and go up and up from there because eventually I want to do this 100% full time, maybe even this summer. Um, but, anyways, that is what sold Wednesday. I am at 130T on Instagram. If you like this video, please like it below. Also, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot more of these what sold videos. I did not do a tip Tuesday yesterday because I wasn't feeling great. So, but otherwise, I'm going to try to do a tip Tuesday every Tuesday to kind of just a reseller tip and things that I've learned or things that I know that could help some others out. I also will be doing haul videos um, once garage sale season kicks up. I'll probably be doing some garage sailing, uh, maybe some thrifting at thrift shops. Um, just try to make my channel interesting so you guys want to keep coming back and watching more and more all the time. Anyways, I am 130T. Remember, 130T on Instagram. Like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful...